Jesus turned and seeing her, he said, Take heart, daughter. Your faith has made you well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, that I could reach out and touch Jesus. I know many of us have thought those words, or at least, oh, if I could pray with Jesus, if I could be with Jesus, if, if only I could have Him here to touch, to love, to pray, to take away all of the worries of this life. And we just sang the hymn, What is the World to Me? We just sang that hymn. Well, the idea of that hymn is that the world is something that we can throw off, or that we should throw off. That Christ is our true comfort, and yet we wait for the resurrection of the dead and for Christ to come again. Well, while we wait, I know that I have felt this, and I've thought this, if only, Lord, as I knelt here and prayed, only, Lord, if you would come and you would pray with me. Just to be by his side would be enough. But then there's another way of thinking about it. Would I really want Jesus that close to me? I want to be near him, but do I want him that close to me? I'm a poor, wretched sinner. I have no redeeming qualities that could make me worthy of the love of God. There is nothing that I myself can do. The world has had its way with me. I know that you've all felt that at some point in time. And yet, still, if Christ was there with us, and we were kneeling down praying, would there not be some thought of how can He actually love me? How can He really love me? As horrible as I am. Some of us have elements like the woman who had perpetual bleeding for 12 years. And what did she do? She was willing to bust through a group of people only to touch the hem of his very garment. And if, he could, if she could touch the very hem of his garment, she would be made well. She just wanted the world to go away. She wanted the world to no longer plague her the way it had plagued her for 12 years. And if she could just touch that garment, she knows that she would be made well. I wish that I had the faith of that woman. Because here I am wondering if I, sit, if I knelt down here with Jesus and prayed, I'm sitting here thinking, how could He love me when I could also think if but I could just touch him, I would be made well. All would be well. I wouldn't have this world plaguing me and bothering me. I would have Christ Jesus to touch, to love, to hold. As Christ holds us. And then we get a third way of thinking about it. It's not our understanding that makes Christ love us. Christ loves us, and so we understand love. It's not what I have inside of me. I know that I'm a sinner. I've sinned in thought, word, and deed. You know that you are sinners. You have sinned in thought, word, and deed. And yet, 
the Holy Spirit in you reaches out in prayer to touch the very hem of Jesus. If only you could touch the hem of Jesus, all would be made well. But here's the reality. Jesus has touched you. He touched you in the waters of holy baptism. In that very touch, He gave you faith. He made you justified. He said, you are the one in whom I love. You are my bride. I am your bridegroom. It is for you that I have died. And it's not for the worth in us. Christ died that we would be called worthy. And when we are called worthy, Christ Jesus promises us this, you shall be with me in paradise. Maybe not this day. Maybe not the next day. But that day will come. And when that day comes and our eyes close, I pray that as I know that I see Jesus, that I also will have this woman in mind. That if she could just touch the hem, just the hem of Jesus, I hope that I have that in mind. That I know that if she could just touch the hem of Jesus, then I know I will soon be in his, his embrace. And if I will soon be in His embrace, the world will truly mean nothing to me. This reality is your reality. This reality is the Christian's reality. So when we discuss uh, having knelt down here with Jesus and thinking how much I would want to be able to kneel down with Him and then also how I would feel that I, I, I'm not worthy to be with Jesus if only that were even possible. But then you simply raise your eyes and you see that Christ is here in flesh and in blood given for us. You want to touch the very hem of the garment? I'll do you one better. Here's my body. Here's my blood. Eat it. Drink it. Be forgiven. Christ doesn't give us His hymn. Christ gives us His entire body. Christ gives us His entire body right there and right there. And where Christ is, there is life and salvation. And if there is life and salvation for us, then we are assured the kingdom of heaven is given unto us. So let us come let us feast, let us eat, for we don't get the hymn, we get the meal of everlasting life. Amen. And now may the peace which surpasses all human understanding keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Amen.